So I've got some of my Tracy Bautista Color Pigment Stone swatches, and I thought I would show you just how fun these are. So I like to put a little bit of water out. I just I use distilled water inside a little squeeze bottle. And then I like to take the stone and kind of just grind it right into the water in circular motion. So then it releases the pigment. And then you can use this wet, which I love. It gives you this really kind of creamy crayon look. Um, you can also use this dry, so I'm just turning it to one of the dry sides. And because each one of these pigment stones is made up of multiple colors of pigment, you'll see different colors come out as you use it. And then lastly, what I love is that you can use them from very wet to dry and then as like a watercolor wash. So I am just going to take a little bit of that watercolor pigment stone and then wash it and so you see the variety of mark that you get in one pigment stone so it's really really beautiful really thick a little bit of dry and then more of a watercolor and they're highly pigmented some of them have little sparkles uh, metallic flake on it and then there's some that are mixed with multiple different pigments so you'll see that come out as you draw with it so these are some of the stones from my wild blooms collection and it's got these really beautiful kind of floral inspired garden inspired colors inspired from a trip that I took to Monet's garden in Giverny, France. So I hope you enjoyed a little peek into the Tracy Bautista color pigment stones. I'll be sharing more details soon about a new pigment stone subscription. So if you wanna click the link below to get on the wait list so you don't miss out, I would love to have you join me. See you next time. Thank you.